dApps Cryptocurrency is much more than just investing, believe it or not. On more than a dozen cryptocurrency blockchains, there are hundreds of decentralized applications. These dApps enable you to lend, borrow, and trade cryptocurrencies without the need for a centralized intermediary such as a bank or cryptocurrency exchange. Cutting out the middlemen not only makes transactions more secure and efficient, but also saves money. On many lending dApps you can learn, it also means more profits for the end user. On your crypto savings, you can earn over 10% per year. And some yield farming protocols allow you to earn over 1000% per year. To gain access to this new financial world, you'll need a bridge that connects the regular internet to the decentralized internet, where these applications can be found. MetaMask, a browser extension that acts as the only key you need to access this financial kingdom, is one of the best bridges on the market. Luckily for you, Crypto Clipper, Today, we will show you how to use MetaMask with dApps on Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain from start to finish, using both real money and crypto. Before we begin, please be aware that we are not financial advisors and that nothing in this video should be easily misinterpreted as financial or investment advice. We know we say it all the time, but it's especially important to remember today because we will be buying a variety of cryptocurrencies as part of this tutorial. These purchases should not be construed as a vote of confidence in these initiatives. They are just to give you an idea of what to expect when you use MetaMask. If this is your first visit to our channel, please accept our warmest greetings. Our goal is to bring you to the most up-to-date cryptocurrency news, tutorials, trading strategies, and regulatory developments. Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell if you want to get this kind of classified information. MetaMask Let's get started with MetaMask. If you're wondering what the hell MetaMask is, let us fill you in. MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet that uses software to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. It gives users access to their Ethereum wallet via a browser extension or mobile app which they can then use to interact with decentralized applications. It is one of a dozen or so applications that can be used to access decentralized applications, decentralized websites, and other decentralized protocols that are built on cryptocurrency blockchains, primarily Ethereum. Prior to MetaMask, you had to provide your cryptocurrency wallet's private keys in order to interact with dApps which was extremely risky. MetaMask allows these dApps to request permission to access funds in your wallet without revealing your private key, which is a huge step forward in the crypto space. Aaron Davison, a consensus developer, founded MetaMask in 2015. For those who are unfamiliar, Consensus is an American blockchain technology company based in Switzerland that develops Ethereum infrastructure. MetaMask is just one of many tools created by Consensus, which launched MetaMask in July 2016. Since then, the MetaMask browser extension has been downloaded over 2 million times. Given that MetaMask is free to use and open source, the MetaMask mobile app which was released in September of last year, has received over 500,000 downloads on the Google Play Store. You might be wondering how Consensus makes money. After all, a profit motive has to exist somewhere. MetaMask value stems from the fact that it is required to use other consensus-based tools and projects that generate profits. The real money makers for MetaMask, however, are most likely the fees from Ethereum purchases made through it. The MetaMask Swap Services browser extension and fees will be available in October 2020. As of late, MetaMask is reportedly banking over $100,000 in swap fees per day. Before you ask, yes, as part of this tutorial, we will demonstrate both the Ethereum purchase process and the swap service. If you intend to follow along, make sure you're using a MetaMask compatible browser such as Google Chrome, Brave, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. While we prefer the Brave browser, we'll be using Google Chrome for this demonstration because we've had problems with MetaMask with Brave in the past 
with certain decentralized applications. Remember this because you may need to switch to Google Chrome if you encounter any errors that cannot be resolved by restarting the browser or reinstalling the MetaMask extension. The first step in using MetaMask is to download the browser extension, which is best done via the MetaMask website. This is due to the fact that fake MetaMask extensions do appear from time to time. Additionally, ensure that the web address is metamask.io. If you click either of the two download buttons on the homepage, the website should detect which browser you're using. Since we're using Google Chrome, clicking the Install MetaMask button takes us directly to the Chrome Web Store. You'll be prompted to add the extension after clicking Add to Chrome. After clicking Add Extension, you'll see a brief download status in the bottom left corner of the browser before being redirected to the MetaMask setup page. After you click Get Started, you'll be prompted to create a new wallet. Following that, you'll be taken to a page that asks for your permission to collect data for the purpose of improving the site. We like MetaMask, but we prefer privacy. So we'll just say no thanks on that one. Once you've created a password and checked off the terms and conditions, you'll be able to create a wallet. The page you are viewing is the most important, so pay close attention. When you click on Reveal Secret Words, the words you see are your MetaMask wallet seed. You should write these down and keep them somewhere safe. If anything happens to your computer, you'll be able to recover your funds by using these words. So, please don't show them to anyone, not even your mother. Sorry, mom. After you've written down your seed phrase and click next, you'll be prompted to enter it again to ensure you did it correctly. It may appear patronizing, but it is better to be safe than sorry. If you lose these words, MetaMask will be unable to assist you. So it stands to reason that financial freedom entails a great deal of personal responsibility. Anyway, once you've entered the seed phrase, you'll be greeted with this friendly message informing you that you're ready to go. If something went wrong during the setup of your wallet, contact MetaMask customer support. If you need it, we'll leave a link to it in the video description. MetaMask will automatically redirect you to its swap service if you click All Done on the congratulations page. MetaMask swap service is similar to One Inch in that it is a DEX aggregator. That is, you can interact with multiple decentralized exchanges, such as Uniswap, without having to go there directly. You must first install a MetaMask swap or another decentralized application. You'll need some Ethereum because Ethereum is used to pay for all transaction fees on the Ethereum network, which is the default network MetaMask is set to and the primary network MetaMask is used to buy Ethereum. Click the puzzle icon in the upper right-hand corner of your browser. This will display all of the browser extensions you've installed, including MetaMask. If you notice any browser extensions that you don't recall installing, we recommend removing them because they may be tracking your activity. In terms of tracking your activity, MetaMask appears to do so by default. Fortunately, there is a simple solution. Then you click the puzzle icon, followed by the three dots. Hover over the code option on the right side of the MetaMask tab. This can read, exchange, and select site data. Once you've resolved the extension mischief, click on the puzzle piece again. And then on the actual MetaMask tab, this will take you to the MetaMask wallet's main hub. If you already have Ethereum somewhere, you can transfer it directly to MetaMask. Simply copy your MetaMask wallet address to your clipboard by clicking on the account address near the top. If you need to purchase Ethereum, click the Buy button. This will give you the option of purchasing Ethereum via wire transfer. By selecting that option, you will be directed to the wire's website. Enter the amount of F you wish to purchase in US dollars. Then scroll down the page, accept the terms and conditions of wires, and click Next. Before we go any further, it's worth noting that Ethereum's network fees are currently quite high. It is typical for a single transaction to cost between $20 and $50, so keep that in mind before you place that wire order. On the following page, you must enter a slew of information, including your address, email, 
phone number, and of course, your debit card number. The app you purchased will be automatically added to your MetaMask wallet once the payment has been processed. We purchased a little extra F to ensure that we have enough for network fees. If you have any problems with this payment method, look for another way to buy F and transfer it to your MetaMask wallet. Now that we have F in our MetaMask wallet, that balance should be visible when we swap MetaMask. We'd like to purchase about 5 USDC. So we look for USDC in the swap options and then fiddle with the F denomination until we see $5 on the right-hand side. As you can see, this swap will cost us nearly $60 in gas fees, which we are not going to pay because gas fees on DEX aggregators, like MetaMask swap, are much higher than going directly to the source. In this case, it's best to go straight to Uniswap. If you insist on using MetaMask Swap, keep in mind that once you've closed it, you won't be able to return to that original swap page. This isn't a problem because MetaMask Swap is built into the browser extension. By clicking the puzzle piece, you can access the MetaMask wallet by clicking the tab. When you click the swap button, the MetaMask Swap interface will appear. Before you confirm any MetaMask transaction, take note of the advanced options for gas fees. These advanced gas options are a little hidden for MetaMask Swap. After you click Review Swap, you can access these by selecting the Edit option. In the next window, when you click on Advanced, you'll see two numbers, the gas price and the gas limits. The only number you'll need to remember here is the GWA gas price. This is where another tool known as the F Gas Station comes into play. The F Gas Station provides you with the most recent Ethereum gas fees to ensure that you're not overpaying or underpaying. Even though MetaMask automatically calculates these gas fees for you, these calculations are not always accurate. As you can see, the gas fee in Gway that MetaMask gives us is higher than the gas price recommended by the F gas station for the fastest transaction option, implying that we would be overpaying for this MetaMask swap. Assume you've had about enough of these Ethereum gas fees. Another option is to switch to a completely different smart contract ecosystem on the Binance Smart Chain. The first step will be to transfer the F in our MetaMask wallet to my Binance account in order to purchase BNB, which is a cryptocurrency used on the Binance Smart Chain to pay for network fees. You can add Ethereum addresses to your contacts list if you'll be transferring to them frequently using MetaMask. This will help prevent funds from being sent to the incorrect wallet address by accident. To do so, launch the MetaMask browser extension and select the colorful bubble in the upper right-hand corner. When you click the blue plus button, you can paste the Ethereum address of your favorite cryptocurrency exchange or other cryptocurrency wallets and give them a suitable name. Settings are also where you can change the currency in which your fiat currency or MetaMask holdings are denominated. So now that you're ready to send the transaction, click send and either enter the wallet address you're sending it to or select it from your saved contacts. You will be presented with three different transaction speeds to choose from. Remember to select the advanced options to ensure that you're not overpaying. In this case, we appear to be in good shape. Just remember to specify how much cryptocurrency you're spending, or you'll be paying gas to send on empty transaction. Once you've sent the transaction, it will appear on the main MetaMask page under the Activity tab. You can cancel the transaction here before it's sent, if you entered the wrong recipient or if you want to speed it up. If you want the funds to arrive sooner, you can do so while we wait for them to arrive in our Binance account. We'll set up our MetaMask wallet to support the Binance Smart Chain. To enable support for the Binance Smart Chain, open the MetaMask wallet and navigate to the top of the page where it says Ethereum Mainnet. You'll be given a list of test nets used by Ethereum developers, with an option to add a custom network at the bottom of the list. 
When you click on this, you'll be presented with a slew of blank fields asking for a slew of information. This is where you will enter all of the Binance Smart Chain information. After entering that information and clicking save, your MetaMask wallet will be automatically switched to the Binance Smart Chain. This will appear a little wacky because the Ethereum icon will still be visible in the wallet. As a result, double check everything. When switching between Ethereum and Binance Smartphone, you're on the right network. A Binance Smart Chain wallet address will be generated for you automatically and you will be able to use the same wallet seed phrase that you used to create your Ethereum MetaMask wallet. So you will be able to regain access to your MetaMask Binance Smart Chain wallet. If anything happens to it, click on your wallet address to copy it and paste it into Binance's BNB withdrawal page. Make sure to select BEP20 as the withdrawal network, as this is the token standard used on the Binance Smart Chain. BEP20 BEP20 is for the Binance Chain, which is actually a completely different network. Keep this in mind because your funds will be lost if you send them to the incorrect Binance network. Also, keep in mind that you can withdraw other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Cardano as BEP20 tokens via Binance. Our BNB has arrived in our MetaMask wallet after a few minutes, and we are ready to rumble. Did you know that the Binance Chain Wallet browser extension is the primary alternative to MetaMask? This connects to your Binance account directly. The issue is that not all of your Binance Smart Chain dApps support the Binance Chain Wallet. Nonetheless, they all appear to be in favor of MetaMask. The Venus protocol is included in this. Venus Venus protocol is the top dApp on the Binance Smart Chain and access to it requires a modified version of MetaMask. When you launch the Venus app, you will be prompted to connect your MetaMask wallet. The steps are the same as with Uniswap. Simply click Next and then Connect. Venus is essentially the Binance Smart Chain's Make a DAO because it enables you to create crypto collateralized stablecoin called VAI which is analogous to creating a DAO's DAI stablecoin. Just to point out a few distinctions between Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain, we will provide some BNB to Mint V. We will keep a small amount of BNB in our wallet to pay for the gas required, so that when we click the supply button, we will have to pay about 50 cents in gas to enable BNB as collateral to Mint V. We have to pay about 30 cents of BNB gas again, and minting the V stablecoin cost me about 2 cents of gas. Each of these transactions would have cost me between $50 and $100 on Ethereum, which explains why Binance's CD5 ecosystem has grown so rapidly. The problem is that the MetaMask wallet does not keep track of any Binance Smart Chain assets. So we must go to Binance Smart Chain Explorer to find the contract address details for V. So when the balance appears in MetaMask, you'll see the option to add a token on the main MetaMask slide. Click on that, then go to the custom token. Pasting the contract address from the BSC scan should fill in the other two fields automatically. If it does not, you must do so manually. Check that you've entered the correct address and haven't accidentally selected a shitcoin. After you click next and then add tokens, your balance should appear automatically. This must be done for each token purchased with MetaMask on the Binance Smart Chain, as well as any additional networks you decide to add to MetaMask. It's extremely inconvenient, but that's the cost of being an early adopter in the future of finance. To wrap things up, we'd like to warn you about browser extension wallets like MetaMask. Despite the fact that they give you control over your private keys and allow you to do some pretty amazing things, browser extension wallets are typically ineffective. Behind the scenes, they're a little more centralized, and they're not always the most stable browser extension wallets. 
It is also less secure than mobile wallets and even less secure than hardware wallets. As a result, we consider our MetaMask wallet to be similar to a cryptocurrency exchange account. We rarely keep cryptocurrency in our MetaMask wallet for extended periods of time and only transfer funds there when we intend to trade or yield farm. When we are not doing either of those things, the cryptocurrency is stored on my trusted Trezor hardware wallet. That's it for this video, Crypto Clipper. Remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person. As a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video. But it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon.